Hello, this is Akira from Key Operation. Today, I would like to introduce one of our housing projects in Tokyo. The site is close to the temple and facing the local shopping street. So this is the site of the project. The, the width of the land is quite narrow, which is about 8 meters. And the depth of the land is quite deep, which is about 17 meters. In Tokyo, we have a special local regulation, which is called void in front of the window. Uh, the concept is that uh, when you have those flats, uh, which is at the end of the site, uh, it needs to have an access to certain void and then approach towards outside, which can be used as an escape route. Within this site, uh, we split the volume into two, which is the volume facing the front street, and then we have the, the, the void for the window, and then we have the back volume and in between, we put the staircase. So this is the entrance of this flat, uh, which we have the lift and a very compact staircase. So uh, let's have a look inside one of the typical rooms. So this is the typical uh, room for this flat, uh, which is the smallest one. And we have this kind of recessed window. And also, as this flat is designed for the people to have cats, uh, we put some step for the cats and the loft, which is quite narrow and cozy, and with some plugs so we can put the hot carpet. So normally uh, for this kind of one room type flat, often the, the corridor is in the middle of the room so that you can have the bathroom and the kitchen on both sides. But for this flat, uh, we try to put the corridor not in the middle but at the side of the room so that this passage can really go through and look through towards the other flat's corridor as well. So this was one of the room type, so I would like to show you another type. So again, this flat uh, doesn't have the corridor in the middle, but it has at the side of the, the flat bed. So as you enter, you have the, the kitchen counter, and this is space for the fridge. And then here is the main room, which we have the, the separated uh, sliding door bedroom that you can close. So this sliding door is not only for the partition for the room, but also it works as if it's a curtain, so you can control the light as well. Actually, this separate room has the, the raised floor, so you can really feel it's a separate room. And actually, this is combined with the, the raised floor at the window, which is for the cats. Uh, they can enjoy the view from this stage here. And again, we have the cat steps again, and with a loft, which is integrated into the, the window frame. The ventilation was one of the most important topics in this flat as when the, the site is very deep, the wind tends not to go through. So as you open this window and you go through the corridor and you open this window and you have a neighbor's window, the wind will go through. So the two rooms that we saw is in the volume facing the street. So now we can see the, the other volume. This is the entrance of this room, which you can see that it has the uh, access to the bedroom. And then this is an access to the living room. So as you enter from the entrance, this is a living room. And we have this, again, the recessed window, which is part of the 
the window board at our side. And adjoined to that recessed window, we have the cat steps and we have the, the cat loft again. And we also have a pole to put the rope to sharpen the, the cat's claw as well. This is the void in front of the window, which is required by the Tokyo local regulation. And the main purpose of this void was the escape route for the fire. But this void is also useful for the, the light and the ventilation as well. So we created the same void on the other side as well. So this point is not required by the regulation, but it's very useful for the, the light distribution and also the ventilation as well. And in fact, this void next door, that's the required uh, the void from the regulation. So actually we're sharing the, the void together. This room is designed for a couple. So we have the living room here and in between, We have the kitchen and then on the other side we have the bedroom and in fact you can turn around you can come back again Oops. to the entrance again and you can come again to the living room the plan of the flat is like this. Let's ask our cat to go around. As cats love looking the view outside, we try to put the nice window for the cats. So we have this kind of stage that the cat can sit down and they can see towards our side. And in fact, you can see the, probably the neighbor cats in front of you as well. Normally for the people who rent the flats for the cats, they tend to have more than two cats. So it is very important to design the bathroom. As you can see, we have place under the sink for three toilets and moreover we have a special door for the cats in Tokyo uh, we have a regulation called uh, one room regulation which is uh, if you have more than 10 plants uh, below 40 square meter uh, we need to have like car park and bicycle park etc which is not really possible for this site therefore we put the smaller flat facing the street and uh, the larger flat at the back of the, the site because if we put uh, two rooms at the back as I mentioned earlier on we have the, the window void issue which we need to have the window void with the escape route on both sides which is uh, will reduce the floor area on the ground floor dramatically. When you do a small development like this, basically we want to have more smaller flats because uh, as a price for the rent, uh, it is per square meter, it is higher when the flat is smaller. However, we need to comply with this one regulation. This was like a puzzle. So now we are at the top floor. I'll show you one of the rooms. On this floor, we have a height restriction according to the, the sunlight casting. So actually compared to the other level, the plant is a little bit different. We have more recess with the balcony. So here's another room on the fifth floor. the other room on the sixth floor and we have the window facing towards the void and again we have the similar arrangement for the cats and we have the wind going through here and then we have
have the bathroom. So on this roof balcony we have a special rain gutter, you can see we have a surface mounted recessed rain gutter. Now let's go down to the ground floor. So even on the ground floor, this void can really bring you the light. So we have this kind of small garden uh, at the corner, and here's a void. But in this flat, we have those recess at four corners. So here again, we have the void as well. So. Uh, this is a drawing showing the, the light distribution calculation and when the window is too close to the side border um, the calculation shows that the light is not sufficient uh, to comply the regulation. However, if we set back the wall itself, we can't maintain the floor itself. Therefore, if you make the recess window like this, the calculation shows that the light is enough. Moreover, because the window is L-shaped as a calculation, it become double as a light. And in reality, it is quite bright. Here we have another void, and we share in this void with the neighbor's void as well. So we have a wide open area here. In fact, this L-shaped window recess was very useful to control the floor area without changing the structure. The total floor area you can build on this site is 300% of the site floor area and we managed to build 299.59% which is quite up to the limit. Moreover, each flat floor area had to be controlled very carefully because of the one regulation that I mentioned earlier on. So this L-shaped window was very useful. So here we have another void with an escape route towards the street. We also have a garden as well. Altogether, we have six voids as highlighted in the yellow. So now we're coming out again through the escape passage through the street and again here we can see the, the rain gutter that I mentioned earlier on and the concrete surface of this facade is quite special because we use the water jet to do the packing off the surface of the concrete. This expressive front wall is keeping the privacy of the flats behind which is shown in red in this diagram. I realize this housing is giving some indications for the post-colonial architecture. The natural ventilation through the void window is refreshing the air inside the flat constantly. The circular planning for the couple flat is very helpful when they do the remote work. When they need to do some video conferences individually, uh, those two rooms will be very useful. Having cat is getting popular since people spend more time at home as they feel less lonely with their cats. I think this corona situation will reshape the architecture. Uh, that's it for today. Thank you for watching the video.